guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name's Haley. for those of you who do not know me. I honestly don't know why I wanted to make this video. <laughs> if you couldn't tell by the title, this is really just going to be a video about Lush, me just trying new things that I haven't tried before. I follow a ton of different like Lush accounts on Instagram, and they do a bunch of like demos of different bath bombs and like little uh cocktails they call them and they look like a lot of fun to make and i wanted to try some but i also wanted to try items that i've never tried before in the mix of that and just see how much i like them so without further ado let's just get on to the video all right so i have a corner with a bunch of bath bombs and stuff that i need to like use and get rid of um so i'm gonna use a pretty much all of these in my video today. Um, first off, I have this cream egg bubbleroon that I have not used and it's been sitting here since like March, March or April, one of the two. Um, and I'd like for it to not like be too dried out to use. So I'm gonna use it in this video. It has like a minty like smell, it's cute. And then I have the Groovy Kinda Love bath bomb. Um, I've seen a demo of it before, it like turns like fuzzy little rainbows and then it's like a nice like warm color but i have a small bathtub so it might be a darker color than i think i suck at describing smells so i'm so sorry and then i also have this sushi bath bomb um and in the middle it's like a they said it's like a little like potty type of bubble bar thing so i could pull it out if i wanted to and i might just do that when i use this in this video but off the bat i already don't like how it smells <laughs> I really only bought it because I wanted to try it to see what it looked like. <laughs> I have the Girl Power Bubble Bar. Um, I like how this one smells. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about this. I have the Strawberries and Cream Bath Bomb, and it smells like a light strawberry, obviously. It's a light scent, which is what I like about it, and I'm not sure how this one will work. Um, hopefully, these are all slow fizzers. I have the Sleepy Shower Bomb, which is different than the bath bombs. I'm not going to toss it in the water like a like a bath bomb. But it's like a lavender scent. It's like really calming, so I'll definitely use this at night if I shower at night. And then I have the Moonspell Bath Bomb, which breaks up into two. I haven't yet decided if I want to use them both at once. I honestly might. This is uh, double vitality. It's a bath oil, actually. It reminds me of one of the older bath bombs I used to like, like Fizz Banger or something, because it's like lemony. And then I have a tea tree toner tab. Um, basically, what I was told is that you put this in like hot water, in like a bowl of hot water, and then let it sit, and then you kind of sit with your face in front of it, and like let the steam come in your face. And I forget what this one specifically does, but we should be trying that as well. And the final thing in this video I'm going to be trying is this... 1000 milli helens face mask it's a jelly face mask which is different than any other face mask i have ever tried so according to the lush emporium when i bought this she said that i could i don't need that much of this and i could pretty much get like 5, 10 to 15 face masks out of it which is actually pretty good for a small tub so hopefully I actually can <laughs> so obviously I'm not going to use all these at once I'm going to do them over the course of a week um so obviously I will have a different outfit each time okay but yeah I'm gonna go take a bath Say you love 
been the end of the week and honestly they were all pretty interesting they all had their own different things about them um what i didn't like let's start with that first um i really wasn't fond of the smell of that sushi bath bomb it really wasn't that like appealing to me i just thought the shape was cool <laughs> i also didn't like moon spell and i'm really sad because i really wanted that moon spell bath bomb to work out really nicely. Maybe I got a bad batch, I don't know, but I didn't like how the purple part like was kind of jelly-like and I just didn't know because it was kind of advertised as like a plain bath bomb. Then here are my top three favorite things. That mask, that 1000 milli Helen's face mask that was a jelly mask was really, really interesting. I do believe I didn't like break it up enough because it was still kind of chunky on my face. But it was really, really um, interesting. It did actually hydrate my skin a bit. My face felt really smooth and soft right after using it. And the next morning without having to use my moisturizer after I had used that at night. Another thing I liked was that shower bomb. I also feel like I might have used that wrong. Maybe I was supposed to wait for that entire thing to like be a complete fizzy mess before I started like lathering it on me. But like other than that, it was pretty cool. I liked how it smelled. I'm not really a big fan of lavender, but it still smelled really like calming and soothing. And my final favorite was that strawberries and cream bath bomb. It was a slow, it wasn't really a slow fizzer. It was kind of like a in between, if that makes sense. Um, but it smelled really nice and it did leave a nice little like red tint in the tub. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it about the strawberries and cream. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already I've never filmed a video quite like this before so hopefully you guys actually enjoyed it I kind of would like to do another one like this in the future where I test out different blush videos But other than that, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye